So now, I decided to prepare a second one of these meters. It measures a voltage or current, it's and current I should say, uh, for direct uh, current right there. And so those dashes just mean it can turn on and off, but it's uh, direct current. We have uh, two spots for the wires. This came in this uh, plastic container. There was no little uh, tear spots to uh, tear it off. I had to cut it open with the scissors, so thought I would mention that. I got uh, six of these for $14 before taxes through Amazon right there. That was probably the uh, best uh, price I uh, found. And uh, so yeah, we got two pairs of wires. So this one is for the uh, load for especially this red one you need to uh, limit the current coming to this and then uh, the meter will measure it we'll come to that this uh, black one again it's a, a path for that current to go to ground but also it's a uh, ground for our uh, voltage measurements and for powering this unit if you're only using one power supply be aware of that uh, very important to realize that because we have three wires here so if you're just using one power supply you don't use this black wire right there you'll run into a lot of problems if you do so be aware that uh, you'll get uh, short circuits if you're just gonna power this meter with a separate power supply then you would put these two to that power supply for the meter and uh, the rest would go to a different power supply more complicated so we're not going to uh, cover that so just don't use this uh, wire right there if you got a single supply which you probably do so the red one is for getting the positive supply to the meter to power it right there to get it to light up and then the yellow one uh, takes the voltage measurement and you want to stay below 30 volts even though when they advertise these they say 100 volts that's probably just for uh you know the load and um but the meter here is only really rated for at uh, 30 volts the display right there so be aware of that so now, when it comes to attaching the wires, and there's a couple uh, trim pots for adjusting the uh, voltage and current settings, but we're not going to worry about that. We got uh, these two spots right there. So this little tab right there, it's removable, goes over where that little clip is right there. I guess you would call it. And there we go. That's the um, where we run current through the load. So load comes from the positive supply, you got to limit current, and then uh, sinks down to ground, the negative side of the uh, power supply. And then we got our uh, three wires here. So these little uh, tabs right there, they slide in between the little slots that we got up there. Pretty straightforward. Uh, just plug it in. And again, reminder, this black wire, if you're just using a power supply, you don't connect it to anything. Otherwise, you have short circuit problems. So that's to power the LED display right there, the red one. And then the yellow one is to get your voltage measurement in relationship to the voltage at ground, the black wire there. So now, the majority of time, I'm going to have four wires connected together when I use this uh, meter. So, I got this. This will connect up to five together. And it's really simple. You just insert the wire and uh, lever it down. But there you can see we got a problem because uh, the teeth are uh, right there. The We don't have enough exposed wire right now to uh, make a connection. We'll just lock into the insulation. So now I had this uh, 50 watt 6 ohm resistor, which I'm probably going to use a lot when I use these uh, connectors. And uh, there you can see, I uh, was trying to aim while looking through the camera. That's always a bad idea. It uh, looks like that is uh, just about enough right there where we will uh, make contact with uh, the metal. So I'm going to make sure that I trim the wires to at least uh, this long. And you can keep adding and removing uh, the wires to these as much as you want, basically. So now, to expose more uh, wire, we're going to use this uh, wire cutter and stripper. So you can lock it uh, shut right there. Somebody got mad that I didn't show that. So there's the cutter. We're not going to use that here. Um, so tongue in the shortest position, that's probably how I get cut that wire uh, right there. You can see we got about uh, that much exposed. So I think we're plenty fine with the tongue in the uh, shortest uh, position. I'll do that with the uh, yellow one right there. And uh, yeah, we stripped it. Now we... Uh, go to the uh, longest uh, position right there. I think that will still be okay. We seem to have uh, plenty of room in that uh, connector right there. Uh, so squeeze the trigger, it comes off. Also with these uh, stranded wires, if you don't uh, pull it off all the way, it kind of helps uh, right before you make connections. Give it a little bit of twist while you pull it off. And um, that's really on there, good. And uh, that helps uh, keep them together. 
So now, I don't want uh, these two wires anywhere where I have uh, these two wires. So I'm going to move it over there. That's where I'm going to guess I'm going to be working with those larger ones. Just kind of get them out of the way. But uh, yeah, we'll just uh, come to uh, the yellow one. So that's the shorter one, but I think it's uh, plenty of space. I already got a tab up right there. And uh, I'll put it in all the way. We should have a good uh, connection. And then the red one, we got extra... Uh, wire um, quite a bit, but uh, hopefully it's still not too much. So there we go um, But yeah, looks like it's not uh, Sticking out and uh, those are locked into place when I tug them right there. So let's uh, zoom in and uh, Yeah, there you can see the metal goes about that far and uh, with the yellow one We'll uh, we'll see as long as we you know it connects it works. We know that we got a good connection so now, when it comes to actually uh, powering this unit, uh, you just need small wires for that, but uh, you're also going to have to pass current. So this is 16 American wire gauge wire right there. We could go thicker, 14 gauge, maybe even 12 gauge, but um, you know, 16 gauge will be fine. We're going to stay under uh, 5 amps. And I'm going to attach a spade connector, and uh, that's going to let me clip to the uh, power supply because it has an alligator clip. But also, there's the uh, female spade right there it will slide in it's kind of tough you got to push uh, quite hard but finally it will slide in and that's also a female just like that one but there's a plastic covering on there to reduce your chance of short circuiting so now we have the uh, spade connector in the crimper you can see it says 18 to 14 there we're going to be using 16 gauge wire and there you can see uh, blue dots right there helps you know that you need a, a blue connector and uh, these strands are not sticking together uh, way too well, uh, but we'll see how we can uh, do. So, um, of course, we have to slide it until uh, it goes through. There we go. I think that's every single strand. So I'm just going to pull it back a little bit right there. And then you just have to squeeze this down right there, and you should have a good crimp. So, of course, tugging it, um, it should not uh, pop off right there. So we did not have a good crimp. So now let's give this another try. I had to give those uh, wires a slight twist to help uh, kind of keep them together. But now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to squeeze. I'm going to squeeze even harder right there. Hopefully now we got a good uh, crimp. And again, you should be able to tug on it and it stay in place, which it's not doing. So what I'm going to do is just take a red spade connector and I make sure we got the wire not too far back. Squeeze her down and uh, now we should have a good connection there should be a red dot to kind of indicate that tugging on it really hard there you can see it's staying in place and where is that red dot uh, i think it's on the other side but yeah there is a red dot so now we have our uh, quick connect uh, five way right there a little bus bar for our voltage and uh, current meter there smaller wire remember don't uh, connect that black wire to anything the um, negative side of everything when you just have one power supply is going to be this thick black wire right there it's also where the current has to flow and the current also flows through the red one, red one but you need to limit that current the load goes between the connector and over there but uh, yeah i got this uh, spade connector right there it's 16 gauge wire needed a red uh, connector because the blue ones kept sliding off uh, but there you go you can see the uh, voltage that we have there about 4.5 volts i limited current to uh, two amps and uh, but uh, we're not going to do that yet and uh, the display will get brighter as voltage goes up stay below 30 volts uh, total right there but it looks like 4.5 to uh, 28 or 30 volts depending on uh, where you look so now we're about ready to test this out we have the meter it's powered because we got uh, the ground wire which is also where the current's going to flow the black there and then our uh, power supply coming there we need a thicker wire that measures or that powers the leds i should say right there the red wire and then the little yellow wire is what gives us our voltage reading so now the uh, red wire uh, here the uh, thicker red wire that comes out of the unit that uh, does not limit current we're going to use a six ohm resistor right there and it's uh hot because uh this isn't the first time i filmed this so be aware of that but in any case we need a load between the power supply and that thick red wire. That's the main thing. So yeah, I just got a slider in there. Uh, pretty simple, lock it in place. Six ohm resistor and uh, six volts. We expect about one amp of current. And uh, so this is off a bit. There's trim pots there to adjust the uh, current display though. So I'll have to do that later. 
So now, this is probably pretty accurate. Remember, that's also the current for lighting the LEDs, whereas this uh, current is not uh, part of that. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to turn the power supply off right there. Uh, the resistor is uh, really hot. But yeah, all I had to do um, was, because uh, the, the current was off a little bit, there's a little trim pot uh, right there. And I just had to turn it till we got uh, to the setting that we got. Um, so hopefully, this will be uh, really accurate from uh, now on. So yeah, in any case, uh, I think this is the uh, how I'm going to wire it up. I did a little bus bar in the uh, previous uh, video where uh, you screw down onto uh, the wires. I also added ferrules, um, but uh, I think this is a much uh, better way to uh, connect them. And uh, I also should have added ferrules to this inline, but I didn't. Uh, these screws will kind of twist the wire a little bit, but as long as you only do it once in a while, it's not too bad, but I would add ferrules. But in any case, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.